Okay, but that was with a man. That's what of I mean. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the point I was making. Of course. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Only how did that, that woman do that? That's him, y'all. That ain't me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, did you start realizing that there was something different about you at a certain age? And can you tell me when that age was? Um, I was probably... Probably around 15 or 16 after I had had him. Yeah. yeah. To realize that there was something different. Yeah. Um. Well, I wouldn't even say it was something different. Mm-hmm. It was just the way that I felt. Okay. Um. But I have to go back uh, mm-hmm. a little bit. Um. You know, a lot of people attribute what they do to what has happened to them. Mm-hmm. Um. Now... For me, I was molested from the age of six till I was 12. I see. So I had been introduced to mm-hmm. sex. Now, you were molested by what sex? Male, female? Yes, me. Male. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So, you know, I knew um, about it. So when I had actual um, intercourse the first time, mm-hmm. you know, I, I don't think I knew... Um, what I was feeling at that time. I was rebelling mm-hmm. against my mother. Okay. First and foremost. Sure. Um, so I, I must have been um fifteen or sixteen and I knew then that my attraction was to girls. Mm. Um but of course never acted on it. Then I had another baby mm. at eighteen. Mm-hmm. So it was like the second time I had sex in my entire life I got mm. pregnant again. Mm. Um and then fertile soil, <laughs> wow. Wow. but that was five years different. So you know, my kids are five years apart. So sure. um, the I, I, the very first time I um, experimented with that, I must have been uh, nineteen, and it was with my best friend. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Now was this this something that, that was it spontaneous? Um, it just happened. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it just. You know, I know, every, of course, everything is a process. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And I think we were attracted to one another. Okay. And we were best friends. Did she say that she was attracted to you? Or did you just, by the vibes, that just, you know, the, the, the physical and what have you? Yeah. Well, I think what 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 had been happening is that um, as, as for us to be as old as we were, mm-hmm. we were not kids. Um, it became a thing of, you know, she was very protective and... Um, almost like a boyfriend, you know okay. that mm-hmm. that was the dynamics of our relationship. Um, and at that time, I did understand what was going on, and it's not something that um I tried to fight or say it's not so. And next thing I know, it happened. Do you attribute that to what happened to you when you were six? Um. Yes. Okay. And 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 that's because I seen men as these things that just hurt you, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so I th- I think that in in all fairness, Walter, mm-hmm. what I'll say is that um, whatever was within me, mm-hmm. um, it was there. Okay. So. Um, I can take that way out and say it happened because of, Mm -hmm. I think that that may have been um, the catapult, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, because it made me um, understand why I felt like I felt Mm -hmm. and I didn't want to be touched by a man. Mm -hmm. Men repulsed me, Mm -hmm, you know. mm -hmm. Um, So it's like um, it played a part, Mm -hmm. but not all of it. Sure, sure. All of it. Uh, I... My query goes to the actual culmination of this discovery. Mm-hmm. You say it just happened. Mm-hmm. Um, was it like, what you doing? How you doing? Or you know, I mean, not to sound naive, but the ambiguity of your discourse leads me to ask: One day, were you? Was it a conversation that led to it, or? Walking past each other in the living room, the hallway, or what? I mean, what just made it go? You know, like boom, well, kiss we, me, my food. <laughs> I mean, what happened? I mean, we we had been talking about how we felt. Okay, and and I remember distinctively saying, you know, I feel like you're my boyfriend. Ah, you, know, you treat me. There you go. Like was, you know, was, yeah, was, you treat me like she gave you this 
thing that released that thing. Yes, sure. yes. And she was, of course, she was aggressive. Okay. And my attraction was always to aggressive women, never to a woman that looked like me ever. Okay. Wow. So um, that's that's how. So it there started. were manly things and manly qualities mm-hmm. in that woman mm-hmm. that made you trust that that attracted you to her. Mm-hmm. Yet you trusted her because she wasn't male. Right. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I did and, trust and these, her. Yeah, and you is, trusted them because they weren't male. Mm-hmm. Sure. Because you figured the male species will eventually do what harm to, to me That's versus right. help or at least give me pleasure. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. a lot of young men really never learn pleasure until they get well right. into the Floyd forties right. or after. That's right. Mm-hmm. Unless you had my mother for a mother. <laughs> right, 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 right. Right. Yeah. So uh, no, I mean, I just was interested to know because. It seems to me that most people who become, not most, let me take that back, a lot of people that I've engaged in conversations with who become homosexual Mm -hmm. usually have a traumatic sexual experience, Mm -hmm. whether it's homosexual or heterosexual. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sex, the pleasure of discovery was taken from them and was imposed upon them. Mm -hmm. And so they become repulsed by it or they become impulsed by it. it. And they either go far-fetched the other way and become super freaky Mm -hmm. and can't control themselves or they become introverted and don't do nothing True. or they just go yeah. okay I'm gonna go where it's safe and the homosexual community have this ability to make everybody feel welcome yeah yes and everybody feel wanted mm-hmm. and everybody feel needed and I don't care who you are that's a good feeling when you feel lost right mm-hmm. that's good that's good mm-hmm. is, is that is was that you um no okay no um because um no one knew no one knew um what was going on um we were not active in a homosexual community okay. this was just okay. she and i sure sure you know um i had never been to a gay club okay i had n- none of that so it was um it, all it, business right pretty much yeah um and then i got married wow I got married. Sure. Now you were nineteen. You were, with your first experience with her, you, mm-hmm. right? And mm-hmm. then uh, how how soon after that you got I married? I got married. Um, maybe I was twenty one. Twenty one. Yeah. I now, married. did you get married? And this is this is a very important question. Okay, especially for those who are out there who who's because there's there's so many who are listening who live in that lifestyle could relate mm-hmm. to a lot of what you're saying and sometimes their stories might be a little different here and there but the foundation is about the same mm-hmm. but you got married now did you get married because you was trying to escape something okay mm-hmm. uh, or meaning I, I've, I've heard homosexuals say that they they married uh, in, in a in a heterosexual they married heterosexually because they were trying to escape the homosexual lifestyle, and they were trying to prove to themselves that they, they're not that. Mm-hmm. So they would they so so, so if it was a woman, they married a man and said, "Okay, I'm gonna live a happy life." But they wind up being unhappy for the 15 years they were with that man, fighting this urge. Okay, what was what was the reason why you married a man that the man that you said that you didn't like? Mm-hmm. Wow. Um, I married him. He was my friend. Okay. Uh. And I, now this has nothing to do with my lifestyle, but you asked me why I married him. Sure. I married him because I wanted uh, something better for my children. Okay. I married a guy that was gay. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I married a Y'all, guy that was you gay. need a camera in here. Y'all should see Alvin. <laughs> <laughs> he leaned, leaned back, leaned back. <laughs> Wow, ain't that something? Yeah, that is that something. Is How were you able to do that though? Because because uh, he's gay. Mm-hmm. I mean, so and so this was was this like an arrangement? No, I didn't know he was gay initially. Oh. I did not know, and he was in the military. Okay, so I did not know he was gay until after um, I married him. Okay, but he, like I said, he was a friend. Um, there was nothing, you know, wow. there. Wow. Um, so when I found out that he was gay, I mm. was actually devastated mm. because I was like, I didn't know, but he knew about me. Okay. How did he know about you? I told him. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. You were upfront and mm-hmm. clear I told from him. the hit. Mm-hmm. 
So he's like, oh, perfect cover. But he never told me about himself. Typical man. Yeah. yeah. And we're still, we are very good friends to this day. Okay. And that's been, what, 27 years ago. Wow. Wow. But so you married him for the for, for your children's sake mostly. Yeah. Okay. There's so that need and want dynamic. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. And the, the nurturing, and that's from the, from the woman's point of view, the nurturing in her. Looking after the to There's the, the a need children. to be met And mm-hmm. he met it And he met it right. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want you I just needed you mm-hmm. I needed you mm-hmm. Right 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 uh, uh, Even though I won't get what I need mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's all about the children And that's something now Oh yeah uh, wow, The wow. sacrifice that a woman has yeah. Innately in them Yeah mm-hmm. This is pink perspective This is what it's all about A lot of men don't know uh, We think we know women But we don't We don't oh know them God. Like, like mm. we We don't know Even the lifestyle That 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 they might have lived many, The greatest many, actresses yeah. in, in the world mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> That's right <laughs> That's right Wow that's deep um, uh, so Where's the book coming out? Yeah. Wait we'll get to that We'll get to that <laughs> No I mean it's got to be a book <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, story. Yeah, we, Screenplay we, something I'll, I'll jump, I'll jump in. He, ain't, he ain't following the script uh, No he's man. not he's I ain't got no not script Y'all script. never give me a script That's what I mean <laughs> <laughs> What's the improv <laughs> <laughs> This is a scriptless show uh, Yeah yeah. Um, uh, not so, a stripper No right y'all get it right <laughs> Cause I'm so glad Art is not here Oh uh, my goodness <laughs> Cause he'd go He'll lean in on that Oh God, D, stop! <laughs> um, so, so you 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 got married. You did it for children. Okay, that then that, that marriage lasts how long? Uh, about two years. Two years. Why did it only last two years? Um, because I just well, I found out about him, so I knew that that you know I just couldn't. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. No, because yeah. he was he had started a relationship. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um and um then I decided that I did not want to do this because um you know it wasn't right. Okay. You know you, you're not supposed to do this. You're supposed to get married and all this stuff that and the other. I got married again. Wow. How how long after your divorce you got married? Uh 2 years. Two, but uh-huh. I I this was okay. Okay. I mean it was good. Mm-hmm. Um, and maybe four years into that, um, well, maybe five, I decided I can't do this anymore. Mm-hmm. The marriage? The marriage. I couldn't okay. do the man okay. anymore. Okay. And, but you knew this was, you, this always been you. You just right. couldn't do the man. Right. I tried. I sure. tried to live the life that I was supposed to live, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. which is to be with a man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, you know he was an he was a good man. You know I wanted for nothing emotionally. You know none of that. You know, sure. um, but that wasn't who I was. Okay. Okay. And um, I knew then it was time for me to come out. Yeah. Wow. And I did. After your second marriage ended, you came out. Mm-hmm. Okay. And how did you feel when you came out? Relieved. You did. Because mm-hmm. I felt like I could. Well. Once I I never I didn't initially tell him um, why I was leaving. Okay. Um, but once I told my mother, mm-hmm. um, and my my children, I was relieved. Okay. The, you, now you have two boys, right? Uh-huh, and a girl. Okay. Uh, oh, so you have three children mm-hmm, all together. Three. Uh huh. How how did they respond? Um, my oldest son, um, he was he was good with it. Okay. My youngest son. He he wasn't pleased, okay. and of course my baby girl was she was a baby, so she didn't know any difference. <laughs> wow, yeah. wow, wow! Listen, if you just tuned in, uh, we're talking uh, to uh, Tamara Mills, and uh, she's giving us a wonderful testimony of how uh, she lived that lifestyle. And then we'll get to the deliverance um, shorter in the show. Um, but if you know of anybody who needs to listen to this, I need you to get out there and. Tag him on Facebook. Tag him on Twitter. Tag him on YouTube. Just, just turn around and tag him. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hit him and then let him know. Tune in right now to uh, Urban Broadcast Media dot uh, com and hit the UBM Praise link. Tune into our show. This is this is exciting. Which we, we we've only been here a few minutes and we've got another hour and a half to go. Uh, it's about to get good, y'all. Somebody get delivered out there. Okay, listen. I got a song I want to play. 
Uh, is there any way? Remember the Walker Arthur Hawkins song, Alvin? Oh Alvin my God. Alvin's hand is that, lifted. Oh. Well, this is Richard Smallwood's version, but he didn't he didn't alter it at all. It's it's.